The Vansa Test Management Jira API can be used to integrate with various tools, automation and development frameworks, including third-party applications. The main usage for the API is to allow our customers to integrate their automated tests and submit test results to Vansa. The Post Run API creates a test run for a test case in Jira. You can use this API to send a test result from your automation testing tool, such as Selenium to Jira, or integrate your own framework. Let's continue our demonstration of the Run API using Postman and seeing how test case results are updated in Jira. So uh, this is a website uh, where you can find all the documentation regarding uh, Vansa APIs. And I'll be just, uh, you know, going through how we can import this and uh, we can use it in our, you know, uh, personal workspace in Postman. So for that, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have selected the uh, environment as demo, and then you just need to click on run in Postman or web, okay? So you can see that the collection is being imported here in my practice workspace. So I'll be just go give you some small demo regarding the uh, Postman itself because this, you know, this thing is very much very uh, important. So, so before running any API under these folders, what you need to do is you need to just select the environment and you have to open environments and check whether these environments have some values or not. Right. So if you can please see here, so we have, um, yeah, so we have uh, API URL. That's good. Okay. Maybe and I'll mention something there, Shubham, uh, if, I, if I can. It's very important because the API mm -hmm. URL, um, because this collection is used to test Vansa in itself, like we have different environments. For your for our customers using Vansa, that they would be pointing to prod.vansanode.app, which is the live um, environment for your Jira workspace. Okay, so the endpoints that in terms of to invoke our APIs for your Jira instance, you would need to ensure your API URL is prod.vansanode.app. What what ensures that we're connecting to your Jira instance is your connect token that I'm sure. Um, Shubham will cover next, but I think it's important to understand that the URL should be as it is right there, prod.vensonode.app. Yeah, so we just need to make sure that we are pointing to the right direction, right, to the right URL. So yeah, so prod.vensonode, this is the right one. So what we need to do is now, let's take our example of add test run API here. So before doing this, you know, what we need is we need authorization token, okay? So that is the main important part for running this API. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate to the, my uh, personal Jira workspace and I'll just open Vansa. And Vansa API tokens. I'll, I'll get a new one. Yeah, so I'll just copy the token uh, from here. Now what we need to do is we need to just go back to the Postman collection. And now under the environment section, we just need to change it here in the Vansa Connect token. Okay. Okay. So just paste your value here and save the environment variables by clicking on save. Okay. So now go back to the add test run screen. So now if you hover on this, you will see the uh, Connect token value. Okay. Now, so the next thing is we we need the case keys and the asset. Okay, so for this, what we need is we need one issue and we need at least one test case. So I'll just go back to Vansa workspace uh, to the, to my project, and then um, I'll open one issue, and then from there I have to just make sure I have at least one test case. So I don't have anyone. So I'll just create a new one. This. Yeah, I guess you're either creating a test case against that issue or linking an existing test case. In in the yeah, example, can do, should, yeah. yeah. Shubham, you're you're using an example of creating a test case 
a menu test case for the first instance. So you create that. And that way we have a test case ID to use test case key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have test case here, test hyphen C5. And we have issue, which is linked as um, test hyphen one. OK, so I'll just go back to here and I have to just replace this value to the actual value. Right, so I just need to insert the right, um, right value here, hyphen one. OK, and then I have to click on save. I just, I'll just verify whether I'm probably the exact one or not. So I'm using C5, yes, C5, and test hyper one, yes, same. Okay, Shubham, so now if we click send, we should be able to see that the test result of passed against test case test C5 for the issue test one in Jira should now be updated with that result. Okay, so we can now see a new test run created with the success of true has been returned by the API, which is a good indication that the test run was created, the test case was updated with a result of passed as we had um, passed through the API in the body there. So if we go to the Jira issue test one and refresh, now we should see a result of passed as what we had just submitted. So if we do that again, this time we'll send failed, click send. New test run was created. So the details in the response there, overall results should be failed. Come back here, refresh, we'll see that the test case is now failed with the test run details and the time it was created.